Inconsistency, lack of structure and lack of responsibility will ruin your life, your career, your business, your music, everything. Slowly, but it will. When I was younger, I had a very good life. I loved my life. I had a dad, I had a mom, um, I had a sister, I had, a, I had an amazing family and we would go abroad, we'd go to you know, beautiful places across the world um, and I was happy. I was very happy. But of course that kind of happiness doesn't last, which is okay. It didn't need to last because it taught me a valuable lesson. Now that lesson came from my mom and my dad splitting up. And I only have learned that lesson recently, which is a shame because I wish I learned it earlier. That lesson was that my father, who I didn't really like very much growing up, I, I loved him as a father as much as you can, but I didn't like being around him. He was angry, he was aggressive, he was controlling and forceful. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because when my dad left, I lost a lot of the responsibility, the consistency and the order in my life, which kept it going, which kept it moving forward, which kept it clear and it kept it strong. And when he left, obviously, when your dad leaves, a lot of you may know this, you kind of just indulge in anything you can to numb the pain, which is what I did. I went to drugs, drinking, women fighting whatever I could to stop the pain. Now there's a story for another um, video but that main theme of my father leaving is kind of what I want to bring this video to. So when he left that responsibility order it all went out the window and now if you are listening to this and you've had the same thing you've had the same experience you have to be your own father. You have to be that father figure. You have to build that structure in your life. You have to build that self-discipline. You have to build that strength, that power, that structured focus that keeps moving forward. But you also have to have that love from your mom, that creativity and that fire and passion. It's difficult and it may be one of the most difficult things you do in your life but that structure that focus that you may or may not have from the lack of father figure is what you need to move forward in your life and build a business the inconsistency will kill you kill your business i mean the lack of self-discipline will kill your business the lack of or the overindulgence in things like porn, drugs and drink will slowly bring you down and it will take away all other motivating factors to help you move forward. You are, and yes I'm talking to you, whoever you are listening now, you are stronger than that. If you want this business, if you want to be good and you want to build the channel, you want to make money and you want to be self-sufficient, you need that structure. You need to be your own father. That inconsistency is not ever going to serve you. Now, that does not mean for one second you can't enjoy your life. You can enjoy certain things, you know, in your free time. But when you're working, you have to make it a consistent work ethic. Similar to a job, you have to work when you are work when you say you're going to work. Now, that consistency, above all, will put you miles ahead of the competition. Just doing that. The amount of people that are inconsistent and do not continue with what they're doing are innumerable. And that's why there's a lot of people that fail. Because they're inconsistent, they lack self-discipline, um, and they, they don't have a foundation of work or things to do or goals. But that being said, you do need that creative passion from your mother's side. You need that fire, you need that enjoyment in life and that lust for more. Um, those things combined I truly believe would make anyone successful that fiery passion from your mother's side and that strong self-discipline from your father's side there's nothing you cannot do so how do you apply that how do you actually sit down and get things done 
It all starts with a habit. It all starts with meaning. It starts with a vision. It starts with looking at yourself, being aware of where your missed comings are. If you're sitting watching porn all day, stop it. If you're sitting drinking all day, if you're drinking too much, if it's interfering with anything else, stop it. If you're on Tinder trying to get women constantly, stop it. If you are, you know, just playing games all day, stop it. I mean, I love games. I love to play games with my friends. It's some of the happiest I'm, I ever am. But I cannot play games with my friends all day while I'm trying to build a business. I can play with them when I have time, but my business and that comes first. If anything comes before your business, it will not be successful because your time and your energy and your focus will be spent on that other thing. Be it porn, be it games, be it whatever it is. Do not put anything above your business if you want a business more than anything. And like I said, that comes from structure, that comes from responsibility and looking at yourself and being self-aware to the T. You have to look at yourself and ask yourself, what am I doing that is stupid? What am I doing that's holding me back? What am I doing that's making my music not sound good? What am I doing? Have I have I worked enough? Have I added my passion to this? Have I just made another beat that sounds like everyone else's and put it online? Have I just been lazy all day? Like you have to look at yourself. Now the failings of my father were I felt like he was too aggressive, didn't show me much love, and he just, he was too controlling. That controlling overbearance and overburdens is not good either. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to wake up one day and say, okay, listen, we want this, I want this. I want to make a business, I want to build a business, I want to make music, I want to get sales, I want to do this. And you will set out a time of the day, it doesn't have to be all day, you don't have to sit there all day and make music, you don't have to sit there all day and do business, just spend maybe two hours a day consistently, over a year. Do you have any idea how much time that will cover if you're consistent for a year? And you can get so much done within two months with just a little bit of time every day put aside for a business, for work. Um, and those things will accumulate very, very rapidly. And you will get addicted to that success, that work ethic, that feeling. Um, because men are very, very addictive creatures. More so than women, I believe. We, you know, we gravitate towards porn, we gravitate towards games, and we get addicted to them. We want to keep going and going and going. And that is the downfall of a lot of people who are wanting to do things with their life and never get anything done because there is so much in the way of it. If you don't like me saying this, that's fine. You can turn off this video and you can go back to doing what you were doing. P probably playing games, probably texting girls that don't care about you, probably watching porn. One of those things, you can go back to that, but you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to sit there and you're going to keep wondering why you've not got what you want because nothing is... Nothing is entitled to you. You're not entitled to anything. You have to go and get it. And if you want it bad enough and you're willing to self-discipline yourself, you're willing to be your own father, you're willing to structure your life in order to make that happen, you can do it. You can make unbelievable things happen with your life. You can make the anything you've ever dreamed of happen in your life. But you have to be consistent and responsible for your own actions. And you have to do it with love. You cannot just do it through this overbearing, forceful attitude. Like, I'm going to do this and no matter what happens in it. Like, this aggressive, forceful attitude will only hinder you even more. You have to be honest with yourself. Be free with yourself and say, I'm doing this today. And I'm going to try my best. And we're going to continue doing it over a long time. And that will accumulate. If you're saying, I'm going to do this, and if I don't do this, I'm a failure, what do you think is going to happen? Your mind already says, this is horrible. This is, I'm being told I'm a failure for not doing this, I can't do this. You have to be, love yourself, and be honest and caring with yourself, and stick to a schedule, a structure, and if you fail, that's fine. That's okay. It's going to be okay. You don't need to do it every single day, but you have to try. 
you really have to try you have to focus on what you love to do and you have to put yourself in the best position to succeed and that will be from structure responsibility and consistency nobody gets has a consistent and meaningful life through laziness and self-indulgence but nobody will tell you this these days the whole media is aimed at self-indulgence the whole media says things like you know sex is good just go out and have sex with a million people like um play games all day here's ladbrook's um advertisements go gamble here's a drink advertisements go get drunk and have fun like do you really think that the top people in the world are doing that the people that have these big brands and everything like there it sounds very much like i'm saying you have to be this stoic strong person that works constantly you don't you just have to structure your life to put things that you want first instead of last because if you have things on the last year priority list and you're spending so much of your day doing things that aren't productive and we're not bringing you where you want to be you're not living your best life and you will suffer those consequences now um, or later but you will suffer those consequences that being said this is a bit of a harsh video today but i hope it helped a couple of you um, and I suggest you look at yourself, be self-aware, get that responsibility down, be consistent and go and make your dreams come true. Go and make your life better. Go and make something of yourself in this world because you can do it. I believe wholeheartedly you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And we will all get there eventually. We will all get to where we need to be with structure and consistency, but we will not get there if we are lazy and self-indulgent. Thank you for watching.